Wear gloves when handling cassettes to avoid the transfer of moisture and other contaminants to the sampler. Remove the transport cap from the inlet and install the IOM on the end of the Tigon tubing coming from the pump. Remember, a field blank should be collected for each sample set and should accompany the monitor during all periods except actual sampling. For more detailed information, watch the Galson Field Blanks instructional video. Attach the pump to the worker's belt or pocket, either in back or on the side. Bring the tubing to the front of the employee. Clip the IOM sampler onto the worker's clothing in the breathing zone. Remove the transport cover from the inlet of the IOM sampler. Turn on the pump and record the time to the minute that you started the pump. Ensure that the outlet of the IOM sampler is connected to the inlet of the sample pump. The flow rate of the pump is calibrated to 2 liters per minute. Also ensure that the sampler inlet is facing away from the worker. Sample for the time specified in the method. After sampling, turn off the pump, record the total time sampled, and remove the sampling equipment from the worker. Then reinstall the transport cover onto the inlet portion of the sampler. Remove the sampler from the tubing and cap the end for transport. Now perform a post calibration, preferably in the same area you did the pre-calibration. Then record the flow rate on the pump calibration sheet. Load and handle the blank IOM sampler in the same manner as the IOM used for sampling. Do not pull air through the blank. Send the blank in the shipment with the sample or samples. Then, complete the chain of custody form. It is important that you include all the information requested in order to ensure the turnaround time of your samples. Remove the pink copy and keep this for your records. Send the white and yellow copies in with the samples to the lab in the large Ziploc bag. Questions? Contact SGS Galson by phone or IH Live Chat. 